Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Capture Trap Ultimate Spider-Man 6 inch scale figure. This isn't a Marvel Legends figure or anything like that, it is simply just a figure made for little kids. It's from the Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, which isn't really a fan favourite, only, like I said, little kids like it, fans only really like it, it's only true to the character, but it's pretty average coming from a fan. But this figure isn't that poseable, does not have too much articulation, but if you're looking for a cartoony looking Spider-Man figure, or one that's sort of similar to the Ultimate Spider-Man comics, and one that will fit into your 6 inch scale collection, this is definitely the figure to get. This figure does come with one accessory, and that is this capturing web. As it says on the packaging, it's a giant web. Um, doesn't do much. The suction cups just stick onto a wall or whatever you want but it's sort of just for looks in the background or whatever you want to use it for. Just a quick look at the packaging, as you can see it has Spider-Man and the title from the TV show. So it's Capture Trap Spider-Man Giant Web Hasbro. Title once again. The back again has Giant Web Trap Villain Picture Spider-Man and the Web. And the synopsis says Capture Trap Spider-Man. Peter Parker becomes the ultimate Spider-Man with ultimate web weapons, supercharged with shield technology. No villain can escape the clutches of his locked down capture web. Down the bottom you can see that there are three other figures in the six inch wave. I was trying to get that ultra strike Spider-Man because apparently it's ultra poseable compared to this one, but unfortunately Target didn't have it. You can also get an Iron Spider-Man and a Nova. And then just one small on the side with the Spider-Man logo. And that is basically it for the packaging. Now onto the figure of course. Like I said, the articulation is not that good. It's not horrible, it's just very average. And considering that it's a kid's toy, it's pretty good, I guess, compared to some of the toys we see nowadays. So, I know my video makes it look much darker than the figure actually is, but the red is a very vibrant red and sort of a perfect colored red for Spider-Man. I'm sorry about the video quality, but that's just how it is, I guess. The head sculpt is pretty awesome, does suit the character very well, and the eyes are painted on extremely well. They're not off the shaped part of the plastic, they're fitting on quite well. The webs around the entire costume, the, they're sculpted into the actual shape of the figure, but there's a little bit of black in the actual webbing as well. You've got the spider on the back of him and on the front of him, they came out very well. The blue on him isn't a very bright blue, but it's not really a dark blue, it's sort of a mix between them both. And it's a pretty good blue, and it matches the blue from the actual TV show as well pretty well. Onto the articulation, the head goes up a little fraction really, and goes down a little bit, so not too much. The arms go up that much, and they do spin all the way around, and yes, all, and it goes the same on this arm, which is also the flipping arm. The onto the legs, there's only one part that bends within the entire leg, nothing on the foot, though the feet do turn around completely, which is pretty handy for certain poses. The leg doesn't go up too high, but it goes back pretty far, which is pretty good. Overall, the figure is pretty mediocre. Uh, like I said, I was trying to get my hands on the super poseable one, but unfortunately they didn't have it. I've been looking for this figure just to add to my Spider-Man figure collection because I wanted a cartoony looking one and this is the closest thing I could find and it fits into the scale. I got it on sale, it was only $5 at Target because the new Web Warriors wave came out of the 6 inch figures which is the new well, name for the new season of the show and so they'll try and get rid of the old ones. So pretty lucky to get it that cheap. If it was 20 bucks or however the regular player is, I probably wouldn't have paid that much. So if you do find this figure on sale, then I recommend getting it. It's a nice little bargain, a nice little feature to add to your collection. But besides that, it's pretty mediocre like I said. The paint job is very well done, especially the red. It's a very nice red. The eyes and the head sculpt looks great and the articulation is very, very average. So overall, I'm going to give this figure a 6 out of 10. Like I said, it's good for your collection, but very mediocre figure for a collector. That is all for this video, but if you would like some more figure and or comic book reviews, you can check out the rest of my channel. Please subscribe for more videos just like this one, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.